What is up, YouTube? My name is Bunny Films, and today we're back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 with a brand new video, guys. So, spooky season is almost over, but Halloween is right around the corner. By the time you're watching this, this is the day before Halloween, and there are a few things we need to do before October 31st in Lumber Tycoon 2. So, we're going to go through in this video things you should do before Halloween is over and passed by, because after October 35th, or er, October 31st, excuse me, there's not a 35th a day in the month. Um, after October 31st, after Halloween, I don't, some of these items will not be in the game anymore. Because we saw over, we saw about 8 items be added. The Amber Axe, the Halloween Lights, the... I don't remember every single item, but there are a bunch of items added. There are candy bags added as well. So all this fun stuff was added. There are the new paintings. So... I would recommend first off by, if you want any of these items for future use, I would recommend hitting up all of the stores and buying those items before they, Halloween has passed by, because there's chances that the items could be removed or they could be a permanent addition to the game. So the first stop is at Fancy Furnishings. We're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a light bulb, and you might be wondering, why a light bulb? No, I don't have a broken light bulb in my house. The only problem is, is that the end times X could possibly be coming out October 35th. 31st, okay. I really need to correct that. But either way, you have to have the special recipe to get the end times X or whatever X is going to become available. However, last year you were able to use the same items you used to get the Rookery X instead to... Uh, thank you Hayden Mon Monday for subscribing. So I'm going to go ahead and get one light bulb. And... And this recipe allows you to get the end times axe only on Halloween. And there could be a new axe release, but I don't see that happening. I just believe there's going to be an end times axe. So if you want that, you can just go ahead and buy the stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and get myself a personal axe that I got myself. So the next stop is at Bob Shack. And we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a can of worms. These cost $3,200. These are all pretty expensive. However, there are a bunch of items in here, such as the Amber Axe and the Pumpkins, that could be limited stock. The Pumpkins are 100% limited stock. They will be removed um, after Halloween, so stock up on those. I'm going to go ahead and buy some Dynamite, because the Rookery Room, also known as the Den, is where is in the snow biome, and there's usually rocks there blocking your uh, passage to that biome. So you have to blow it up with Dynamite. You can't blow Dynamite up near your friends or other players in the game so i recommend doing this alone or else you have to have them whitelisted so i bought two sticks so i could use one in the future and then we're going to go ahead and stop at wood r us the most important part about this is making sure you go to fancy furnishings during daytime because this store does close however wood r us and bob shack does not close at all so yeah fancy furnishing closes at night either way guys um Oh, shoot, don't you dare hit my pink car. <laughs> it's too fancy. Oh, gosh, people are following me now. Uh, so, some poopy butt decided it would be hilarious to um, use exploits and steal my base. So, I'm taking care of that. I'm not even going to bother giving that person any attention in this video because that's all this. It's not even a person. Yeah, what all this person wants. So, no attention. Someone stole my base. I'm getting it back. Don't worry. I don't need presents. I don't need donations. I'm, I'm getting it back. And he is going to get banned from this game, hopefully. Okay, guys. So, the next stop is at What Are Us. It's the store with the big, fuzzy beard on the front. And over here, they're selling the candy bags. And there's also paintings sold at the um, painting shop in the maze, which I would recommend buying before Halloween is over. So, here is the bag of sand, which is the final ingredient for getting, getting a rookery axe or an end times axe. So we can go ahead and buy it, and I do like my pink car, it looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead, there we go, thank you, $1,600. So this is a pricey investment, but I don't really need this axe, but if you want it, go ahead and go get it. We're going to go ahead and dump all these items off at my base, and then we're going to go take a little trip to the snow biome, just to t tell you about the den in case you've never been there. But chances are you have, because it gives you the uh, one of the most powerful axes in the game that you can actually acquire um, currently, because the other most powerful axe, the end times axe, you can't get on, you can't get any other day except October 31st, or you can purchase it from other players. But we're gonna head to the snow biome now, and we do have a stick of dynamite to blow up the rocks, and it looks like 
someone already did that for us. So thank you for that, whoever did it. So once you blow it up, I believe the rocks do not go or do not come back. I did have one occasion where there were more rocks, but I'm not sure about that. But there's no rocks, so we can just pass safe on through or right on through. And the rocks are usually right here between the snow and the grass. And let's keep an eye out. What the heck? There's just people everywhere all around this map. I thought that was a spook tree on its side for a reason, but that's just a person driving his black truck down the mountainside. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead, head over here, and we're going to go ahead... Oh, shoot. I keep saying that. And we're just going to show you where the den is. So the den is right around this corner by that tree. Um, and then you just have to look for the red eagle on the wall. Thank you, David Hamad for subscribing and there's a hatch in the ground you can hop on down and here you go this is where you get the rope reacts it comes down it descends from up here plays some nice music and whatnot but you have three npcs here just sitting here and you place all the items on their plates so there's a specific order i don't have that with me but you're it's easy to access it on the wiki anyways guys have a great day i'm gonna try to up my content once i get my base back because i had a secret project planned but anyways, guys, have a great day. And I oh my gosh, we're getting a lot of subscribers. Anyways, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.